What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing our community combo video. I do apologize for actually delivering this video a little bit too late, but stuff happened in real life that I just had to take care of. So hopefully you guys understand. Now in these videos, I do get five combos from the comments below and I'll showcase them for you guys. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. For our first combination entry, we do have the entry from Quinky Lewis and he does go with the Derby Dynamo with the Mint Edistout. Then he does go with the Backlink, the Hollow Pack with the Cupcake and I just love this combination. The Cupcake itself actually has a similar curse scheme to that of the skin itself. Then for the Harvesting Tool, he does go with the Fork Knife. What I really like about this combination is because this is basically the utensils you do use to cut a cake and eat it and he just delivers with that. He does go with the Top Sale with the Pink Edistout and I could clearly see why. The top cell with the pink Edisel does have that similar color scheme to that of the Derby Dynamo. Then he didn't go with any control, but I'm actually gonna go with the Rift Lining just because it does have pink, and as you can tell with the skin and glider, it's mostly all pink. Then for the wrap, he did go with Keiki. Now, the reason why he went with Keiki is because it's very simple. The color scheme of the wrap itself matches perfectly with the mint Edisel from Derby Dynamo. So let's check out his combo. For the next combination entry, we do have the entry from TTV Birdie 28 and he does go with Doggo with the Militia Edistout. Now this is one of those skins that you really don't see in the battlefield that much, but what was very interesting is he does go with the back lane, the Adventure Pack with the Ghost Edistout. Now the Adventure Pack is actually a very solid back lane. It Even though the green itself is a little bit off, it's still green so it looks very good. He didn't know the name of the harvesting tool, so hopefully he actually got it right. He did say he, it was two machetes with a light green blade in the bottom. And I went through all my harvesting tools and the block blades were the only one that actually fit that criteria. If he did meant these harvesting tools, they actually match really well with the sword of the back name itself. Then he does go with the glider, the custom flyer, with the green edistyle, what he said. And I have to say, it fits very well with the military skin that Doggo is. Then he didn't mention any Contra, so I'm gonna be going with the Boom Drop just because the Doom Drop does have that arcane power on his hand that looks very cool and it is green. Then for the wrap, he does go with the Meowster Mine, and I have to say the Meowster Mine actually fits him very well. The Meowster Mine itself does have a green color scheme for a wrap and it matches really well. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination entry, we do have the entry from Limitless Opinions, and he does go with the Vulture Skin. What I really like about his concept for a combo, he does go and like makes it his own, which he calls it the Taskmaster. If you guys don't know who Taskmaster is, he is one of the villains of Marvel, and he's gonna be the main villain for the Black Widow movie. What is really cool about this, he does go with the Vulture Skin, and he does pairs it up with the Backstabber with the All Black Edge style. Now, the Black Stabber backlink actually fits very well because it does have a little bit of blue lights that complement the skin. Then, for the harvesting tool, he does go with the Bang Shot Pickaxe. The Bang Shot Pickaxe with the default edit style, because he didn't tell me which one he wanted, actually looks very good. It's a dual winning harvesting tool of just two blades that looks very cool with him. Then, for the glider of choice, he does go with the MCG with no style. Now, this is actually very cool because the glider itself does have like an LED screen on top that is all blue. Then he did go with the Ultramarine Control, but sadly enough, I don't own that Control, so I'm gonna replace it with the Hollow Data Drop. Now, the Hollow Data Drop, you do obtain it right now if you complete your Rocket League challenges. What's actually very cool about it is it just picks it on both hands and feet, but it complements it because of the blue. Then, for the wrap, he does go with the Blue Metallic. What I really like about the Blue Metallic is that it does bring everything together perfectly. The wrap itself is primarily all black with a little bit of metallic blue. So, let's check out this combo.
for the next combination, we do have the entry from Jake Morse, and he does go with Esme Diaz with the backlink, Shiryuki backlink. Now, these two combinations actually fits very well. The skin itself does have an all purple color scheme that is similar to that of the backlink he is wearing. Then, for the harvesting tool, he does go with the Ultra Scythe. What I really like about this combination is that the Ultra Scythe itself does have a purple and black color scheme that is similar to the skin itself. Then, for the glider, he does go with the Storm Cell. What I really like about the Storm Cell is that it does have that Storm Surge on it that looks amazing, and then the color scheme is also purple. And for the control, he does go with the Lightning Strike. What I really like about the Lightning Strike is that he does invoke the character itself in an all purple aura that does have strikes of lightning hitting him. And for the wrap, he does go with the Pink Splash. What I actually like about this wrap is that it does have the drip of the paint itself dropping from the top of the weapon wrap. It does have that pink and purple that is similar to that of the skin. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination entry, we do go with the entry from 2D Fruity and he does go with the outfit Beast Mode with the Jackal style. What I actually like about this combination is that he actually does use Beast Mode and you never see it in the battlefield. Then for the backlink, he does go with the Hot Wings with the Dark Edit style. Now the Hot Wings is one of those backlinks that he could have actually kept the original style but I could see why he picked the Dark style. The black and yellow actually matches very good with the skin. Then for the Harvesting Toe, he does go with the Revoker with the Yellow Edit style. Now the Revoker with the Yellow Edit style just fits very well with this combination because it does have that futuristic look. Then for the Glider, he did go with the Cruiser. Now the Cruiser is one of those gliders that's very good because it is all yellow. Then for the Control, he does go with the Popcorn. What I actually like about this Control is that he actually utilized it perfectly. The oil from the Popcorn itself actually goes really good with the skin. Then for the Wrap, he does go with the Call Sign Hornet. Now the Call Sign Hornet does have an all yellow curse scheme that is similar to that of the skin. So let's check out this combo. Those are the 5 combinations I did pick for my comments below. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you guys want to have your combination showed in the next time I do a community post, leave your comments below. And if you guys want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, 2 D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the epic game store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really help this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.